Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I told you I'd be back soon and here we are. Are you impressed? You should be. So today's video, we're gonna have a first impressions video of a role of Kono Galaxy. I only shot this film one time, so I don't wanna give like a full review on it. This is just gonna be like first initial thoughts because for one, I, it's, I didn't have a great experience with it and I, I would never just write something off just because one time it didn't go well. You know, I'm always down for a second chance because I'm just a very generous person. So I developed this film myself using Cinestill C41 kit and I also scanned it on my Epson V600 scanner and I edited it using Negative Lab Pro. Firstly, with experimental films like this, I usually scan it using Negative Lab Pro and also with the regular Epson software that comes with the scanner. Sometimes with experimental films like this, Negative Lab Pro sort of overcompensates and tries to like correct the color too much and just gets rid of the effect. But when I tried, like usually Epson, the software that comes with Epson scanners, um, their auto color restoration, whatever, usually keeps the effect. However, both softwares sort of gave the same effect. Negative Lab Pro looked better, like usual, so I would just went with Negative Lab Pro. But overall, the results were very, very underwhelming. I don't know if the role I got just like sucked <laughs> and just like didn't get much of an effect because there's about like one strip of like six photos or something where I got like the results I was more expecting, but then the whole rest of the role, it's like, one photo every once in a couple photos where I actually saw some of the effect but the rest of them were just like normal and they didn't even look good. They looked very bad. I'm gonna be showing you the good, the bad, and the ugly so don't judge the ugly photos, okay? You can't have good photos without the ugly ones. So this film is priced at like 13.5... I don't know why I said it like that. Let's go with it. 13.5 euros which is about 15 bucks in US dollars, um, which evens out to about 50 cents per roll because it's 36 exposures. So it's not cheap. Nope, it's not cheap. Since it's so overpriced, I don't really know if I'm gonna shoot it again. Um, let me know if you want like a full review on it and then I'll go ahead and get another roll and shoot it. Compared to like other people's that I saw online and the sample photos online, it shouldn't be this inconsistent with the results. Um, and I know it's not something on my part with like scanning or whatever because the negatives themselves, you know, with films like this, you can see where the effect is. Like you can see the different colors that are fogged on the film um, and the, the negatives straight up just don't look that affected. So this film is DX coded for ISO 200, which is when I shot it at because I shot it in my Pentax IQ Zoom, which is an automatic loading camera. The website does say you can shoot it between 100 and 400 ISO. I did notice in my darker photos that the effect was much more prominent. So if I do end up shooting it again, I'll probably shoot it at ISO 400. All right, let's just get into me analyzing these photos, shall we? All right, so this first photo, um, it's this random, like, uh, I don't want to say abandoned, but like decrepit <laughs> um, smoke tower thing. As you can see, there's some like red purpley going on in the bottom left corner, but nothing too crazy. This next one is of my boyfriend, Brandon. We were going on a little walk, and as you can see, you can actually see some green on the right. All right, you know, so there's some green on the right, some red on the left. I'm looking at this photo, I'm like, okay, we're getting somewhere here. Next photo, this one, as you can see, much more normal. There is some red at the bottom, looks a little weird. As you can see, there's like this random blue light dot. Next photo, as you can see, not very much results going on here. It's a photo of the moon, there's some red on the bottom. Honestly, the red just looks like it was a mistake to me. <laughs> Next photo, look at this, pleasant surprise. We have some colors going on. Looks kind of pretty. I mean, the photo itself on my part isn't anything too exciting, but at least we got some effect of the film here. Purple at the bottom, there's some red on the right. Still nothing crazy, but it's there. Next one, about the same thing. Again, nothing crazy about this photo, um, very boring, <laughs> but 
but hey, I was just testing out the film, not taking anything crazy. The effect is there, pretty much. It's nothing crazy like it's shown on the website or in really other people's photos that I've seen. Okay, first I should preface this. Um, this black line right here, and like that starts on the right and goes over, that's part of a fence. That was me being really bad at um, trying to take this photo through a fence. <laughs> I guess I didn't do a very good job. But as you can see, it looks very normal. Nothing crazy going on here, very boring. This one, still pretty boring, but you can see some green. Look at this tree. There's some green here. Um, can you see that? I can. Down here, there's some green. Even on the left, it looks a little bit red. Um, ignore this little stain. I didn't feel like photoshopping out, but. You can see the result is kind of there, but you know, nothing too crazy. Oh, this one, you look, you gotta check this one out. Okay, this is not related to the film really at all, um, but I think I like moved my scanner when it was scanning because it created this like glitch effect and I think it looks really cool. Yeah, I just wanted to share that. But as you can see, no effect is going on here at all, I don't think. Maybe a little bit of red on the left, but like barely. Next, this was a photo of Philly We I took when we were driving. Obviously, um, shutter speed was very low. I got this really cool effect of like the moving lights and whatnot. Um, this one, I am kind of feel okay about. You know, you got some green in the upper left here and on the right a little bit. Very interesting look. So this next one, I like this one better than the other one. Again, there's some moving action going on here, but I like it, you know, it. I think it looks interesting and I also am pleasantly surprised with the effects going on here. We got some blue at the top, some green in the corners, a little bit of purple on the bottom right. Um, looks pretty good. This next one, as you can see, we're coming into the photos where like you can actually see the effects. Pretty crazy, right? We're like halfway through the roll at this point. Purple at the bottom, green at the top left. I don't know why I keep talking about the colors like you can't see them right there. So I'm just gonna move on. <laughs> next one, this one looks, this is probably the most strong the effect is on any of the photos. Um, it looks pretty cool, I think. This one, we're going back down to basically no effect again. Uh, or top left, we got some green and some blue. Looks pretty cool, but that's about it. Next one, this one I like. It's ob obviously it's a picture of the fucking ocean, um, but we got some purple on the left, some green, blue in the middle, and I think it works really well with the ocean. I think it's pretty, you know? Composition could be a little bit better. Let me know what you think. Um, let me know if you shot this before and you had good results or something different than mine or similar to mine. I'm curious to know. I know experimental films like this aren't everyone's cup of tea, but I think they're fun to try out. And usually I have a good time with them, but this one, can't say, can't say I, I had that great of a time. That's gonna be it for today's video. I will link this film in the description in case you like my results and you want to give it a try. Um, let me know if you do and I will see you in the next one.